Hey, North Star Church Network, it's Brian. And as you know, during Lent, we are spending 40 days to pray for and meet 40 pastors around the North Star Church Network. And today, uh, I'm with uh, one of my favorite pastors. Okay. But actually, yeah, I say that to every pastor. You <laughs> get sure that. You but it actually, is one of the pastors I've known for a long time. Uh, God had our past cross first when I was a teenager on a mission trip to Chelsea, Massachusetts. And Ed was the pastor there. He then came down uh, here to the area and as part of a First Baptist Alexandria launch many years ago, of which I was a member, uh, we launched. Uh, Were you on staff at First Baptist then? <laughs> I'm not that old. I was a little <laughs> younger than that. Oh, that's right. But Ed is pastor at Gateway Community Church. We are in this amazing facility. And Ed, we've been just kind of meeting pastors, uh, learning a little bit about them and then praying for them. So tell us a little bit about yourself and how we can pray for you. Uh, my wife is Diane, and uh, we have lived in Northern Virginia for 27 years. We started Gateway 26 years ago, and for 20 years we met in local middle schools. And we've been in this facility for six years. I have three uh, grown children, one of whom leads worship for us here at Gateway. Yeah. Great. And so uh, I know you got a lot of things going on within the church, pastoring a good-sized church. How can we pray for you and how can we pray for the church? We have been, uh, we actually spent the month of January as a church in prayer. And uh, we've been trying to hear from God about what he wants for us next. Um, the next big hill that God wants us to take. We're pretty determined, Brian, not to be uh, just another um, sleepy suburban church. So we want to we want to know specifically what God wants us to do. So if we have folks joining us in that, boy, if you hear anything, let me know. Awesome. Hey, if you are out in this area, look up Gateway Community Church. Come out, check out the worship. You'll hear some dynamic preaching, I know, and the worship itself will be amazing. Thanks.